Hey there, I'm Ryan with StickDulcimers.com and I uh, wanted to introduce you today to this wonderful maple. Uh, is just all that it is, is maple, walnut down the middle, um, cedar or spruce top. This is a uh, stick dulcimer that's made by Steve Olson out in Omaha. <clears throat> He's with Wandering Minstrel. And I wanted to walk you through some of the basics of his particular um, methodology, his style. Uh, also get you a chance to hear it. So what I'm playing right now is just real basic with my fingers. And if you need to know something about how to play these, we'll have lots of videos about that coming up soon as well. So um, that's with my fingers. Let me play with the pick real fast. Much louder. Right, so. Uh, just a quick rundown of things. He's got a very medium height fret wire, which may not matter to most people, but um, like I said, he's, he has done a really cool job of putting a piece of walnut right up the middle. It goes all the way through the neck <clears throat> and onto the back. He's got a separate piece of walnut back here. Um, the bridge is made out of wood. I believe that is either walnut or purple heart. Uh, the tuning keys are kind of standard for this style of stick dulcimer. He's just taken mandolin tuning keys, open gear, sliced off the fourth one, um, really filed that down. I love the slim line of the headstock here. Um, and then he's actually got a wood nut on, on, there, on there as opposed to a zero fret, which you'll see in some of the other models that people make. Um, every one of them comes with this sort of like... Uh, I feel like it's a very high class version of a strap and without getting into a full on <clears throat> like leather guitar strap or something. Again though, it's got a very bright sound. It's very present. It'll cut through if you're playing with a guitar player. You're going to hear this instrument. So let me try a few more little bits and pieces for you. And I think for most players, just playing on the melody string, which is the one closest to the ground, is going to be a great way to go. This actually has a six and a half fret for those of you who are used to the lap dulcimer or lap dulcimer or mountain dulcimer worlds. So, so it's it's got an extra note in there that you wouldn't have on some of these stick dulcimers, and some uh, older mountain dulcimers don't have that as well. So you can kind of get a little bit more with your style there. We like to say you can't really play wrong notes on these. That's the only place where you might get yourself a little bit in trouble. Um, but that's just a little bit of an education thing to try and figure that out. So um, you got your one chord, your six minor, excuse me. You got your one chord, your four chord, or here, five chord. Again, that just got me in trouble. There we go. So. And then with fingers, notice how that just really mutes it out and gives it a much more mellow and warm tone. That'll be a lot of fun when you're playing on your own. Or if you're comfortable with uh, finger picking, you could do... Again, I'll just... I'll also... Um, for those of you who don't know, these are often tuned uh, one five octave. In this case, it's G D G. So you can play anything you play on the in the upper string for your melody. You could actually just reverse it and play it on the bottom string too. So. Um, yeah. So we've got a couple other of Steve's um, Steve's instruments that we'll review as well. We'll have those on the pages for you. <clears throat> and I'll try and find some songs to play that everyone would maybe know. Maybe we'll have some Beatles, we'll have some Taylor Swift for those of you out there who really are into the pop side of things. And we'll also find some mountain music that we can kind of pull in the traditional side. Maybe some hymns. There's a lot of great hymns that sound really good on these stick dulcimers. So again, Steve Olson at Wandering Minstrel made this one. It's a maple um, construction. And I hope you enjoy. <laughs>